Hello and welcome to the second tutorial in the Cocos 2DX Flappy Bird C++ series and in this part we're going to be looking at how to create scenes. We'll be using the source code from the previous part of the series. If you, have it, if you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. In this part of the series, we'll be creating scenes which will serve as the building blocks for the game. We will be creating four scenes which are Splash Scene, Main Menu Scene, game scene and game over scene. Obviously depending on how you want your Flappy Bird or even in your game in general they will change. You may not have certain scenes or you may not have uh, or, or you may have more scenes. Um, chances are you probably will in a complex game. The splash scene for me will be the hello world scene but renamed and refactored to splash scene because I just created a project. So I'm just going to go ahead and open up what we've got. So first of all, I'm going to go to where the Hello World scene is located and rename this to Splash Scene. Splash Scene. And let's just sort this out. Delete. And let's add these folds back in. Add it to the Mac one as well, why not? First thing I'm going to do, like I said, is refactor it. So I'm just going to go down from the top and see what needs to be changed. This needs to say splash. I can rename this comment right here. I'm going to change the class name to splash scene. Rename the hello world in here to splash scene. Get rid of this menu callback. Don't need this. I'm going to go to splash scene.cpp. Work our way down, so I'm going to say splash scene dot h. I'm going to change this to splash scene. Copy and paste that anywhere where hello world is located, replace it with splash scene. And what we can do is get rid of this method entirely because we got rid of the declaration. And inside here, we'll get rid of all the code except for. The top few lines basically is just checking if delay has been initialized and the screen size and the origin because we'll be using this for positioning. Now that is done, I'm just going to build it, make sure it's still building successful. Okay, we have a failure. Okay, in the app delegate, we need to rename this because this is where it says what scene should be run and then we can change it down here to splash scene, build it now. Is it going to be successful? Yes, it is indeed. So what we're going to do is duplicate that, rename that to main menu scene, copy and paste it so I'll get the spelling correct. And now it's going to duplicate this one. And we're going to call. Also need to duplicate the header. I'm going to call this game scene. Duplicate this and rename this to Game Over Scene. Obviously, there's nothing wrong with you just creating fresh headers, fresh CPPs, and recoding it all yourself. But because we're using scene that's built into Cocos 2D and a lot of it is generic, or the bare bones are generic. Well, just copy and paste and rename a few things as that is a lot quicker, and I find it helps prevent errors. So let's just add these new files to our project in the same manner that we did before click finish and now we just need to go through each one of these files so do the game over scene first rename last scene to game underscore over copy and paste this and this will change to game over scene And now if we go to the game over scene, we're going to rename this to game over scene. Let's change anywhere where they splash scene to game over scene. And now, let's go to game scene, do us. Do what we did there essentially. Game. Copy and paste this. Actually in here, did I rename it down there? I did indeed. Change this to game scene 
and I can change this to game scene right here. Go to game scene, include the game scene header, rename splash into game scene in here as well. Now finally go to main menu, rename this to main menu. Again, these hash if not defined, hash defined. You can be named whatever you want, just make sure they're unique because they prevent the file from being included multiple times which will prevent which will cause compiler errors because you'll have classes and variables and whatnot with the same name. So let's just rename this to main menu scene and find copy and paste it there. Put a copy and paste it three times in here. Rename this. Now if we build it we should get a build successful, at least I hope so. Build is now successful, I'm going to run it as well. There really shouldn't be anything on the screen. But I'm just going to make sure it is running successfully without any errors or any crashes. There we go. It is now running successfully. That is it for this part of the series. We've looked at how to create scene, we created a splash scene main menu scene, the game scene and the game over scene, all of which are self-explanatory. In the next part of this series we're going to look at implementing the splash scene. If you have any questions feel free to message us at support at soundmarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on the video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for source code will also be in the description and as usual thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.